I had very little confidence when I was a kid. My parents were getting quite worried about it. I was about eight, nine years old. Um, and I just wasn't really enjoying myself the way that most eight or nine year olds would, whether that stemmed from maybe, I don't know, early body dysmorphia with how I look. So I knew I was a little bit different. I knew I didn't really look like everybody else. Um, I think that did affect my confidence. And so my parents, with my dad boxing when he was younger, took me to a local gym when I was nine, about a week after my ninth birthday. And that's where it all began, kind of out of necessity. My parents saw me pulling myself out of social situations, even stuff like birthday parties, or I was struggling to go to school at times when I was younger. Um, and they just acted on that, and thank God that they did. You never really get over your insecurities. Like, they never, they never fully go. It's just you manage them, and you, you've got, like, the same way you would have negative triggers, you have positive triggers, so the minute that you start feeling negative about yourself or, or anything, you, you know what kind of positive triggers to use. And for me and for loads of other people that have boxed before, it's exercise is one of the main ones. Even though you, it's the last thing that you want to do because of how you feel in yourself, you know that going and doing the workout, going and doing the run, going and hitting the bag or lifting weights will make you feel better. And it's that discipline of the positive trigger of the discipline of going to train and getting it out of the way so that when afterwards you can just kind of revel in that relaxation.